Here with Jared Williams of the Rhode Island Rams. Jared, welcome to uh, CA Football Media Day. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Last season, you led Rhode Island with um, four interceptions and also ranked third on the team in tackles. Um, talk to me about what, what you liked, uh, what part of the game you liked the most, making the interception or maybe making the big hit? I'd prefer making the big hit, probably because of my dad. My dad's all about physicality. But uh, uh, I don't know. I guess, yeah, probably making the big hit. I'd like more interceptions on uh, uh, next season. You also are a kick returner for the Rams. Is that something you enjoy? Yeah, I love kick returning. Whatever uh, the team needs help with. Kind of give me an idea for somebody who hasn't any, done that type of thing before. It, what it takes to be successful. You got 11 guys all on the coverage team coming at you, running full speed. Tell me kind of what goes through your mind as the ball hits your hands. Basically, just run. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> it's like kind of like a swarm of bees. So you got to make that right cut at the right, right moment, and then you're gone. Is it more fun? Being the guy that's uh, on the end of the collision, you said your dad you know, likes the big hits, or is, it, or is it more fun to try to be the guy to, to, to find the seam and uh, take it the other way? Uh, probably make the hit easy. I, I want the crowd to go, ooh, every time <laughs> make a Not hit. Not be the one that they're saying, ooh, too, on yeah, the other way, right? Exactly. Um, you, all, you, were, you played running back in high school, and I know you played some running back during your freshman year at Rhode Island. How yeah. did you talk about the switch to defense and how that occurred? Um, basically, I just sat down and talked to the coach, and basically I thought it was a better position, and uh, my other coach thought it was a better position for me, too. I'd get more playing time, and I could possibly become better. Do you enjoy being on that side of the ball more, being on the defensive um, side of the ball, or will you wish you still I, I, I'm, I like where I'm at right now, but I miss still running the ball. I get a little bit of taste of that from the kick returning, but... Yeah. Now, last season you had a fumble return, 68-yard fumble return against UMass. Yeah. And uh, t talk about that play and, and what it's like, uh, again, for, for somebody maybe that's uh, never put on the pads to, to see 68 yards of, of field in the end zone. What's going through your mind? Basically, like, I'm running up to get, the, to get the ball, and ball happened just to lay in my lap, and I'm running down the field, and I'm like, wow, th that was really easy, basically. That was probably the easiest touchdown I'm probably ever going to have. Yeah. But, Crowd, crowds into it, and you're taking so you're in wide open grass. Are you kind of looking around, saying, "Where is everybody?" Yeah, basically, I was like, uh, "They called down." I didn't even know because I thought the guy's knee was down at least. Yeah. Now, uh, talk about the expectations for your team a little bit. You guys had a rough year a year ago. Talk about the attitude and the expectations going into this season. Our expectations are really, really, really high right now. Um, we never want to have a season like that again. We all felt terrible, like the entire season, like. From the entire season, and I, I stayed all summer trying to get myself better and basically our team to be better, our defense to be better. I want to be a captain of this defense. Yeah. Now, CA football, this this league is so strong. Teams in the national championship game, four and five teams in the playoffs. Talk about how difficult it is week to week to to where you're almost playing a top 25 team every week. It's the best conference in the country. Nobody else could uh, top it, bar none. Now, I also saw in your bio that you had the Phillies and the Sixers listed yeah. as favorite team, but the Steelers in football. Right? Yeah. So what happened to the Eagles and why, and why the Steelers and not the Eagles? My dad kind of uh, forced me into liking the Steelers, and then I grew on it when I was little. But uh, I like every other Philadelphia team besides the Eagles. I just don't like the fans, basically. <laughs> grew up in Philadelphia all my life, so. Yeah. I was going to say, how tough of it is it to be? Are there a lot of Steeler fans in the Philadelphia area, or do you have to kind of None. kind of hide out a little bit? It's like being a Cowboys fan in Eagles country. <laughs> so you don't wear many jerseys around town? I still wear jerseys. I don't, nobody's going to tell me what to do or anything. I'm a tough guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jared, thanks for joining us today. Enjoy your football media day. Thanks for having me.